Hi guys, let's learn "Fix You" by Coldplay, an amazing song, which is um, basically on E flat major throughout. And the way we divide the song is there's verse, chorus, which keeps happening. I think it happens twice for the whole track. There's an intro before the verse, which is a nice uh, organ intro. Then that leads, that continues to the verse. And then in the second verse, a piano plus an organ play together. I'll I'll show you that once we go to V two. Then you have a build up where the guitarist plays that tune, right? That goes on, and then you go to the end of the song where there's another hook, tears stream, etc. Tears stream down your face. That part. So that's generally a sort of style of. writing which coldplay do wherein they do one hook which is generally considered the chorus and then at the end of the song they give you another hook which i think is a very interesting way to write a song and that last hook is something which you leave uh, which you are left behind with right so let's get started from the beginning i'm going to play you the intro which is which can also be used for the verse remember it's on e flat major so let's get cracking so the verse chords are e flat g minor c minor and b flat major i'm playing it on a piano but actually in the original you can do this on an organ either the lower octave or the higher octave so the second verse you can go higher and the first verse you could stay deep okay so you go e flat g minor c minor b flat and try to follow these shapes of each chord this is how i'm playing e flat major g b flat e flat g minor g b flat d g c e flat for a c minor and f b flat d for b flat major and with each of these chords what they do is they ring the top which sounds amazing on an organ it also sounds good on the piano so how it goes is e flat and now when you go to g minor play g b flat d with the ringing e flat you have to keep playing this note so where you try your best and you don't succeed So for E flat and C minor you don't have to worry about the E flat ringing because it anyway is part of the chord but when you go to G minor the second chord you add the E flat with it for the B flat chord you add the E flat with it right so it gives you a very unique suspended chord kind of quality without really being a suspended chord because you're adding the third as well and it makes the chord very very fat so i'm going to put a few links in the description which with some other ways to make chords a bit more colorful and uh, this is specifically something which coldplay does in a lot of the piano parts or actually even in the orchestral or the horn arrangement they what appears as a triad or this g minor is actually not a triad it's a triad with something else and that's inevitably a pedal and the pedal generally we use as the root the pedal note is just we call it a pedal as it repeats for a good amount of time we also say ostinato right so the the right hand of the intro and the verse goes e flat g minor with that ringing e flat c minor b flat with the ringing e flat repeat na na da 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 C minor, B flat. Na 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 G minor. Oh. And then B flat, and it goes on. And the left hand, you can start by playing the roots of the chord. You can do it in a one is to two. So every every time you do. this hand with this hand this goes one more time and this one just holds so one is to two left is to right essentially the roots of the chord and the right hand is as i told you and the 
bass also does something very interesting where instead of just holding the E flat at the end of the bar just before going to the next chord there are one or two notes which get added let's see how that sounds E flat do 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 so E flat let me only do the left okay that's e flat e flat f g at the g minor b flat c c minor b flat so left hand again try to sing it and sometimes we had a ghost e flat with the organ that ghost is e flat so repeat e flat g c b flat second line e flat almost the same e flat f g d c b flat the well, second line feels like it's going down isn't it e flat do 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 e flat f g same as the first line d c b flat with the right hand second line repeat once the chords if you're not getting the bass line it's fine let me show you the sort of um, easier version e flat g minor c minor b flat with the ringing right hand g minor c minor b flat and now with the moving bass one more time e flat g minor c minor b flat e flat g minor c minor b flat major right and at verse 2 the only thing which changes is a piano adds a nice line uh, before going to verse 2 the piano plays tang 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 so that's g e flat g d g e flat f d and this goes along with the organ so you will have to figure out how to do that the way i do it if i am playing this alone without any other keyboardist is to play the chords in the left hand and play the melody in the right hand so that the performance stays big and it stays warm and uh, and rounded So your second verse so first verse is just that organ stuff right while the second verse C minor B flat with octaves and a pedal sorry sorry so that's g e flat g d g e flat f d with octaves b flat right or you can do it with without octaves Okay, and at the end of the verse line, na 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 na, so 
दैट हैपन्स एज वेल एट दी एंड एज एन ऑक्टिव राइट सो यू कुड एट दीज पार्ट्स If you wish, or you can just play the old organ part, which sounds very good on piano. In any case, so let's now do the next part of the song, which is the chorus. Very easy, where it says "Lights will guide you home," etc. So the count is A flat major for three beats, then E flat major over G. That means you need to play G in the bass or the left hand, and then B flat suspended four. followed by b flat and a flat is three counts g e flat over g is one count b flat sus two is sus count is two counts and b flat major is two counts as well let's see how it sounds 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 bones a flat again i will e flat over g try to fix you then goes to that piano part right so let's look at the chorus again lights will lights will so that's a flat major and what they do is remember the idea of uh, the pivot or the pedal which i talked earlier instead of just playing a flat he's adding an a flat over a g which you're going to again play with the e flat over g so you ring that g and that makes it a a flat major 7th if your fingers can reach do try that otherwise light swell ga suspended chord a suspended chord is 1 4 and 5 right it's a very nice chord in fact i've done a, another video which we we'll link up in the descriptions uh, called creative uses of suspended chords which i think you guys should definitely check out so this is like the beginner version or the easy version light swell that's e flat over g ga B flat sus two sus four sorry B flat sus four B flat you home and ignite your bones and then you can add in that ringing G as I talked about. Lights will guide. So even the B flat sus I'm ringing the D here. to the heavy part or the build up which only the guitarist plays so there i guess you could just play a low root of the chord so pretty much chords there and here that's 1 2 e flat a flat four times e flat four times B flat, and then we go to a very nice chord, which is the C minor seventh chord. The C minor seventh chord you can play like this, which is G B flat E flat in the right hand. You can ignore the C because you're anyways playing it here. So minor seventh chord actually has four notes. So I'm just jumbling them or shuffling them between the two hands to sound good. So. C minor seventh, A flat, E flat, B flat major.
this part is the same rhythm which you can even play when they do the ending part which is the tears stream down your face bit so tears stream a flat down your face e flat na 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 something you cannot replay that's b flat sus going to b flat major right or you can just play b flat major B flat sus, B flat major. Moving on, C minor seven, T stream, A flat. Down your face and I E flat nine. B flat sus, B flat major. Again. You can even build it up by playing eighth notes with your left hand thumb. So. to move your wrist smoothly so that you don't get pain in your forearms but yeah here and there you could add these eighth notes tears stream down your face when you lose then b flat sus b flat major c minor tears stream a flat down your face and e flat the word you cannot replace we have a g minor 7th chord don't forget that so it's pretty much the same thing except instead of b flat major you go to g minor 7th so let's look at that ending now something you cannot replace these are the notes of g minor 7th g b flat d f If you find it difficult to play the four note chord just play a normal G minor chord but I think G minor 7th will sound nice and it's not too difficult on the fingers so let's just look at the last line Tears stream down your face when you lose something you cannot replay G minor C minor Tears stream A flat So we've covered pretty much all the sections. You have that intro organ, then a piano added on for verse two. Then you have the chorus, which is the breakdown. Lights will guide you home, etc. Then you have the build-up, starting by the guitar, and then you use pretty much the same chords to get into the vocal section, which is the tears stream down your face part, right? So this is "Fix You" by Coldplay. It's a very interesting song to learn for any instrument, even if you're a guitar player or a uh synth player or anyone really it's on the key of e flat major so it's uh you i would suggest that you guys write down the scale write down all the available chords and wherever you have a doubt with the instruction on uh, in this instruction video try to pause the video rewind go back slow things down and uh, also if you have any further doubts you can always leave a comment and we'll be happy to help you out Cheers.